Speaker, it's my pleasure and I'm proud today to congratulate practitioners of Falun Dafa worldwide. On May 13th, 2012, it will be the 20th anniversary of Falun Dafa's introduction to the public by Mr. Li Hongzi. When Mr. Li Hongzi introduced Falun Dafa, his intent was to encourage people to be truthful, compassionate, and forbearing. Members of the Falun Dafa community hold these truths dear. Regrettably, not everyone in the world follows these principles. Members of the Falun Dafa have been subject to extreme persecution with their life, liberty, and property taken from them immorally. Around the world, the communist Chinese government has engaged in a systematic campaign of oppression and suppression. Apparatchiks of the communist state are not confined to the PRC. They have even forced documentaries off the air here in, C in Canada on CBC. Members of the Falun Dafa community have been subject to arbitrary arrests, imprisonment, torture, organ harvesting, and psychiatric abuse and execution. I, for one, am thankful for my friends in the Falun Dafa, and I'm glad they do not receive that persecution here in Ontario. I invite all members of the House to attend the Falun Dafa Association's Canada celebration on May 5th in Nathan Phillips Square at 11.30 a.m. here in Toronto. Thank you. Thank you.